Welcome or welcome back to The Budgeting Budgie. On this channel, I'm sharing our journey to becoming debt-free. My content includes weekly and monthly budgets, as well as check-ins, sinking funds, and debt updates. If this sounds like content you'd be interested in, please consider subscribing and dropping a like on this video. So on today's video, we're doing our budget for January 2023. This is the spread that we'll be working with today. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Lean just for me to Ryan. With January being a four week paycheck month, um, our combined income, so both my husband and I work full time, I work from home and he works as a plumber. He's currently on leave and I don't think he goes back to work until the 16th of January. Um, also today is our fifth wedding anniversary as well. So for our combined income, we're estimating 9,000 $964. Because I worked the public holiday on the 27th of December, um, I'm projecting that I'll get an extra $300. However, that is me being a little bit conservative, so hopefully a bit more than that does come through. So for the total for January, we're expecting $10,264. Hopefully you can see that. Our next category is housing. Anything within this category is to do with the house. So that's why you'll see like rates, water, etc. in here. So our mortgage, our mortgage interest has gone up. So our mortgage payment has changed as of the 20th of December. However, I was sort of holding off on doing this budget until I got the letter from the bank because it won't show online when they do an increase. I'll send you a letter um, through the mail that hasn't come yet. So I'm just keeping it as normal. So $2,088 for the month. Our rates looking at $140 to go towards there to pay per quarter. Our water $100. Home insurance will be $108. This is due to increase in either February or March also. Our electricity $160, gas, $60, internet, $60 as well, and then our phones, $108. So with our phone, $70, $70 is our phone bill, and then $38 every month. Um, we'll just sit in the kitty to build up in order to purchase new phones when our phones inevitably die on us or if something does happen, knock on wood, that doesn't, but yeah. So I'll just calculate this quickly. $2,824. Just put this here. $2,824 for the month for housing. Now onto our variable expenses. So this is anything that, um, is variable so that can alter throughout the month all of our categories do have a expense slash sinking fund so everything is rolled over at the end of the month if a fund does get too much money in it or where i see is too much money then i will redistribute those funds otherwise i'll just increase or decrease the amount going forward so subscriptions should be up here um just because i do like to put phones and subscriptions together however i forgot to leave a line so it's down here this month so for subscriptions this month, we're estimating $80. My spending money will be $460. My husband's will also be $460. For groceries, we're looking at $480 for the month. Household, so this is just um, shampoo, conditioner, cleaning items. Baby, so this is uh, for my pregnancy. So this has gone up quite a bit since December's budget. That's just because as we're getting to the tail end, so I'm almost six months pregnant at this time. So we will have to start maybe buying um, some furniture, anything baby related pretty much. And then our fur baby, she gets $80 a month. And then petrol, this will be $100 for this month. 
Patrol. So this is a car that we're looking to sell in the near future. However, it does need some work to it. That's 320. This is a new category for a shortfall. So basically what this is, when I did my annual budget, I noticed that as of May 2023, that's when we won't be earning enough in order to fund everything. So when we do have months with overages, I will be putting money into the shortfall expense fund in order to cover that. So this month we're doing $480. And I also forgot to write in our anniversary because I am allocating money for that because we are looking to go out for dinner tonight. So I'll just quickly do that and come back. So for our anniversary, I'm just looking to spend $75. Anything over that, we will just pull from our personal money. So I'll just go ahead and calculate these amounts. That gives us $2,915. So what I've just quickly gone and done is just put the total amounts in black so they stand out more. So $2,915 for the month. Okay, so now over to our debts. I will link a playlist of our debt videos, debt updates, including our debt confession. So for our renovation loan, we're looking at 1800 to allocate towards there this month. Our Bankwest credit card will get $500 and our Tucson will get $480 for their payment. What you might realize is gifts is no longer on here. You will see what happened with that in our week five budget update for December 2022. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and calculate these amounts. It was $2,780. $2,780. Our last category is savings. So in here is pretty much our sinking funds and savings funds as well. So basically, this year, we're just focusing on saving for my maternity leave unpaid, which will happen in 2024. So for home maintenance this month, we're budgeting $225. For my savings, we're budgeting 200, same as my husband's savings. So we both get the exact same amounts every month or every week. And then gifts and events gets $200. Christmas and New Year's will get $80, so already preparing for Christmas December 2023, or I should just say Christmas 2023. Our health fund gets $80, or hoping to. Um, my Tucson, so this is any running costs, so registration, maintenance, uh, insurance, things like that, 320 my mat leave, so this is something that's also increased since December, so as our focus is gone from debt to savings this has increased quite a bit 100 envelope challenge i'm budgeting zero however i do pull two envelopes every week and that comes out of my spending and also my savings if need be and then emergency fund is also zero however that sits here because we pulled money out of that to pay for my tucson so we put this here just as a reminder that we do need to pay uh, these funds back to the emergency fund. So I'll just go ahead and calculate these. $1,745 for this month. $1,745. And finally down here is just our overview. So basically I just put in our estimated income, housing, variable debt and savings and put the total here. Then when we come to the end of the month, I'll do actual, any plus or minus, and the percent amount of how much each of these categories were from our income. Our income is projected this month at $10,264. Housing costs, $2,824. Our variable, $2,000. $915 debt, which is $2,780, and our savings, $2,000.
and then we have our savings which is 1745 so what I'll do finally is just calculate this amount and just make sure it balances. So we have 10,000 is 2, minus 2824, minus 2795, minus 2785, minus 1745. Perfect. So I just put a line in here to say that it balances. A very long line today. So this is our January budget for 2023. First budget of the new year. I'm very excited for the new year. Um, everything's looking quite positive and I'm quite optimistic. And I'm excited to hopefully finish this 100 envelope challenge. I know I've only been doing it for a few weeks, but that is one of my goals is to finish this guy up. And yeah, so everything here is looking pretty good. Hopefully we can stick to it. So this year we are on quite tight budget just because with my income decreasing due to paid maternity leave. So basically the government pay is, I believe it's 16 or 18 weeks at Australia's minimum wage, which is 800 and something dollars per week. However, that money is taxed. And then my pay through work is not my full pay. Unfortunately, I can't disclose my actual income just because of um, work policy. I just want to thank each and every single one of you. So I've actually just hit 100 subscribers. Can't believe it. It's such a huge milestone and it makes me so happy. And I can't wait to share our journey with you throughout 2023. And I just want to let you know, so videos that will be upcoming, I'm hoping to post one video a day just for the short term in order to catch up because I was um, not under the weather, but just um, extremely tired lately. So I'm looking to do our December 22 week five budget update, as well as our December closeout. December debt update, and also January week one budget. And included in our December week five check-in, that will have our sinking funds um, reset, which will show you if we ended up getting gifts and events down to zero for 2023. So very exciting times to come. Yeah, this year is just going to be full of excitement and full of fun. So thank you all so, so much for being on this journey with me so far. And please let me know if there are any mistakes or if you want to suggest any content for me to do and I will um, consider it. Thank you very much for spending your time with me today. Uh, love you all. Bye.